Hi, welcome to how to configure a caching only DNS server with PowerShell. Quickly go over the prerequisites with you. We'll need uh, Windows Server 2016 and PowerShell. If you're looking for additional information for some concepts covered in this SNP, you can take a look at how to manage DNS forwarders with PowerShell and how to manage DNS zones and records with PowerShell. All right, let's get started. Now, obviously, the first thing we're going to need to do is install the DNS server role. So we'll use the install Windows feature commandlet, install the DNS role, include all subfeatures, and include management tools. And we'll just give that a couple of moments to run. And there we go. Our role is installed, and we have now successfully configured a caching-only DNS server. We need to cover a few topics just to verify that everything is configured the way it should be. So the first thing we'll do is verify that there aren't any DNS zones configured. So we use the get DNS server zone commandlet. And there's our results. And it looks like the only zones that are there are the ones that were auto-created when the DNS role was installed. Now if you want to double check, you can use the where object property is auto-created is equal to false. And that'll bring up the list of zones that were not auto-created going to be zones that you want to remove prior to continuing. Now in this case, came back with nothing, so we're good to go. Move on to the next step. Now we need to verify that the forwarders aren't configured. So we'll do a get DNS server forwarder. Comes back using root hints true, but there's no IP addresses configured, so we're good to go there. Now if it turns out there were some addresses configured for the forwarders, you could just simply take the get DNS server forwarder, pipe them into remove DNS server forwarder, a dash force and that'll remove those forward addresses for you. So the next thing we need to do is verify the root hint servers are configured. So we use the get DNS server root hint and there's our list of root hint servers that are configured and note that most of those have IPv4 and IPv6 addresses configured. So we're good to go there. The next step is to verify that recursion is enabled. Now this is important as the caching only server, this is going to be its primary function is to perform recursive queries. So we'll run the get DNS server recursion, comes back as enabled, is true, setting is fine. Again, if for some reason it isn't set to true, you just need to use the set DNS server recursion and set enabled to true. And our final step is to verify that the cache is secured against cache pollution and that the cache locking percent is set to 100. So we'll do a quick get DNS server cache. There we go. And as you can see, the enable pollution protection is set to true and the locking percent is 100. And as before, if those settings aren't set correctly, just use the set DNS server with the pollution protection set to true and the locking percent set to 100. And that'll set everything as it should be for your caching only DNS server. And that brings us to the end of how to configure a caching only DNS server with PowerShell.